Okay, this question is just asking us to solve for A. Now it specifically says to use sine law and cosine law, but you should know. There's your known opposites right there. So that tells me to use sine law. So A goes over top of the sine of the opposite angle, so 48 degrees, and that is 53 over the sine of 32. That's how sine law works. I take my unknown, put it over its opposite, set it equal to the two known opposites, so 53 over 32, and take the sine of the angles. Don't ever take the sine of the sides, that's ridiculous. Now, cross multiply that up there, and A is going to be equal to 53 times sine 48 divided by sine 32. Now, if you don't know how to punch that into your calculator, well, go online and find my video about how to use your calculator. 74.3, and did we have units here? No, we didn't, so well, I don't need to include units. Okay, next one. This question, it tells us to use cosine law, but really, you should know. This is our side angle side triangle. It's the enclosed angle between two sides. There are no known opposites here to use, so I've got to use cosine law. So for cosine law, I do A squared equals 42 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 42 times 30 cos of 106. Now, what you need to remember about cosine law, well, first of all, again, you should have the equation. So when I fill in the equation, the thing that I'm trying to solve and its opposite always go in the outside of cosine law, and the other two sides are on the inside of cosine law. That's how you remember which sides go where. All right, let's solve this thing. Now, remember that when you solve this thing, I'm just going to punch this whole thing into my calculator. 42 squared plus 30 squared minus 2 times 42 times 30 times cos 106 equals, and you're going to get a gigantic number, 3358.606. It's going to be much bigger than these two sides because you haven't taken the square root yet. You've solved for a squared, so a is the square root of that. You square root both sides and you get 57.95 or 58.0. Okay, now this one. There are a bunch of different ways to solve this thing, but there is, well, there's one way that's easier than the other, or I think it is. I'm gonna take this triangle here and I'm gonna solve for x. So I'm gonna label this with O and this with A and I'm gonna do tan. So tan of 55 degrees equals 12.4 over x. So x equals, okay, now that I've started to show you guys more of this, I'm just gonna skip this step. The x comes up, that goes down, so you do 12.4 divided by tan, 55, and x is equal to 8.68, well, 257. I'm gonna keep a whole bunch of decimal places here because I'm gonna use this number again. Uh, next one, I'm gonna take the big triangle now. So the whole outside of the triangle, I'm gonna use the tan of 25 degrees because then this would be the opposite and this whole bottom thing would be the adjacent side. So I'm gonna call this side Y. So that whole bottom is gonna be Y. So tan of 25 degrees is gonna be equal to 12.4 over Y. So Y again goes up, that comes down, 12.4 divided by tan 25 this time is equal to 26.59185. Round it somewhere, and then to get A, I'm just going to subtract those. So A in this case is just going to be equal to the 26.59 minus 8.68, and it's going to give me 16.91. But now I'm going to round it to 16.9 because now I'm getting my final answer. So 16.9, 57.95, 74.3, and I guess really, if you wanted to round this to one decimal place like I've been rounding most everything else, that's gonna be 58.0. That makes sense? Five rounds that up. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay, wait. I'm gonna see if I can splice these two videos together because I just realized after I stopped that video that uh, something went wrong there. 17.9, not 16.9. So uh, yeah, that should have been 17.9. Now we're good.